Masisi, who was on a one-day visit to Namibia, revealed that his government is convinced that there is no danger posed on the lives of Namibians at Dukwe refugee camp. The group fled the country in 1998, following a secessionist rebellion in the then Caprivi Strip. Two years ago, their refugee status was revoked, a decision that saw them taking Botswana authorities to court, which then put the repatriation process on hold. So we will follow procedure, exhaust all we can, but you see they are not Botswana, they are Namibians. They are not refugees, they then become illegal immigrants. There are laws that govern what you do and how you conduct uh, the business of illegal immigrants, and that will follow. And there will be, and if there are any Botswana here who are illegal immigrants, uh, I'm sure the laws of Namibia will also result in them being assisted to go home. So we will wait the outcome of the process of engagement, but uh, uh, we, we want to have this cleared completely. The over 800 Namibians are accusing the two governments of refusing to negotiate with them. But the Namibian government is supporting its counterpart's stance. So they have the agenda, that's their problem. But they will be welcome, Your Excellency, they are Namibians. We will rehabilitate them, we will integrate them in a society. But those who have committed the crimes, as we said about everybody, the laws must take their own course. Why are some people not willing to come back? They say they are not part of Namibia. That's what the problem is. But you should know that the men in Denmark, Nishake Muyongo, we were drafting our constitution together. He's a drafter of Namibia's constitution. Where Namibian territorial integrity and territories are defined by constitution where Cabrivi and now Zambezi is part and parcel of Namibia in that constitution he was drafting. Before the revocation of refugee status, the two governments adopted a come and see, go and tell approach. This meant that the former refugees would come and assess the conditions in Namibia and share with those at the camp. But the strategy produced minimal success than intended. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.